Um, so today is the start of Passion Week. Monday starts Passion Week. And our five messages this week, we're going to cover John 13 to 17. So today is John 13, tomorrow will be 14, and so on, so on. Ending on Friday, Good Friday, with John 17. And this is the last week. It depicts the last week of Jesus' life. So yesterday we talked a little bit about Palm Sunday. And we had the section of Scripture from John 12 where Jesus uh, came out of the Mount of Olives and rode into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey, and that was called his triumphal entry. And so we are just right past that point, and Jesus is talking to his disciples. They're at the house, and they're actually in the upper room, and we're going to, I'm going to read to you here in just a second, a section of scripture where Jesus does something that is amazing. Jesus actually takes a moment to wash the feet of all 12 of his disciples. Now, we always talk about this in church. During the Last Supper, it was only Jesus and his guys. There was no entourage. There was not hundreds of people with them. It was just Jesus and the 12. So the 11 and Judas, which Judas would be number 12. And so we see Jesus approach his disciples... And we'll let the scripture tell you the rest. Uh, Go ahead and turn in John 13, and we're going to start in verse 1. It was just before the Passover meal, and Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The evening meal was in progress, and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, them that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, You do not realize what I'm doing, but later you will understand. Nope, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Then Lord Simon Peter replied, not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus answered, those who have had a bath need only to wash their feet. Their whole body is clean. And are you clean? Though not every one of you. For he knew who was going to betray him. And that's why he said not everyone was clean. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Very truly, I tell you, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. So two things I want you guys to take here. The first is this, is that Jesus knew who was going to betray him. He knew that Judas was the betrayer, and yet he still washed his feet. That to me is an amazing thing because it makes me think of how many people in our lives have been a Judas to us. Now, maybe they weren't as severe a Judas as Judas was to Jesus. But we all know somebody who's a Judas. Or two or three. So who's been a Judas in your life? Who do you need to seek out and wash their feet? The second thing is this. Is that Jesus modeled perfectly what true servant leadership is. I mean, this is a wonderful picture of servitude. Washing feet in that culture was not to be done by the host of the party, let alone the Lord God. It was to be done by the lowest of the servants. And yet Jesus, in the only way Jesus can do it, removed his cloak, took a towel, put it around his waist, got the water in the basin, and washed each one of his 12 disciples' feet including Judas, his betrayer. See, his goal during this time of washing wasn't to sway Judas or change the minds of disciples or even to say, hey guys, you need to get along. It was to further his mission. 
See, he needed the disciples laser focused on extending Christ's mission after he was gone. And that mission was to serve God, serve each other, and to serve every single person God put in their path that they shared the message of salvation with. And so as we tune out today, I pray that you keep on the top of your mind. Who's your Judas? Whose feet do you need to wash? And are you ready to share the gospel? Are you ready to share the best news that was ever given to anyone? Are you ready? Are you ready to serve God, serve others, and serve your fellow man? If you are, give me a thumbs up. We'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.